All right. Hey, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well in a way. I guess we're doing a track review, a song review. Performer, writer, comedian, actress, Colleen Ballinger. You guys may know her on the YouTube platform as Miranda Sings. Somebody who, honestly, I haven't really been paying a lot of attention to for a very long time. Even when she was at her peak of popularity, I wasn't paying that much attention to her because like, her content just wasn't really for uh, my demographic. She was a fellow millennial uh, making comedy videos on YouTube for uh, age groups much younger than me. Her videos got so hot and popular at one point, she went on to uh, sell out tons of live shows, and do a Netflix series. Since that bubble kind of popped, I imagine that uh, she very much kind of went the way of like Fred, if uh, anybody remembers that uh, core memory from the YouTube vaults. But uh, she is in the news and public eye once again because uh, the internet has been going crazy over this collective realization that some of her past content and performances were pretty problematic and suggestive in uh, sort of an inappropriate way. Even if, as she says, her content is meant to appeal in a PG-13 fashion. And from what I understand, to Colleen's credit, she has apologized for and taken down some of that content. But as people have been digging more and more into her generally, it's, it's, it's become more than that. Like there's weird chat logs and documented interactions with fans who were not exactly uh, of, of an adult age. There is a group chat called Colleenies Weenies. Uh, this first one is uh, someone saying, my ass looks so good today, y'all. And that person is 12. And then Colleen said pics and then re replied to the person, which is crazy. That's, that's weird. And then uh, she also used the group chat as a place to trauma dump about a divorce she was going through to 14 year olds. Not a great look, uh, to put it bluntly. Now, the discourse around a lot of this stuff has reached a fever pitch, has grown quite intense. I guess it reached a point where Colleen felt that uh, it was necessary to respond. I think uh, just about everybody would have expected out of this, you know, your standard sad puppy dog eyed YouTuber apology video. Colleen decided to take a different route. Uh, she decided to deliver her apology or, you know, her uh, explanation in song, which has caused many people to send me the video saying, hey, you got to review it. It's it's music. You know, I've always said this, but there's nothing more I love uh, than being roped into doing something off a of technicality. I can already hear it now in the comments. Many people typing away saying, uh, Anthony, hey, uh, make sure that as you're reviewing this, separate the art from the artist, okay? okay? I will try my best. Even if I'm not a big fan of Colleen's work and uh, some of the stuff I've seen in the wake of this video has made me raise an eyebrow, who knows? You know, um, this little track and performance here might be a, a stroke of genius. If it is, it's imperative that I, as a critic, acknowledge that. All right, we got the whole thing queued up here. Let's give it a watch and uh, try not to be traumatized in the process. Okay, standard YouTuber apology start. It's looking sad, pulling out the uke, and it's, uh, no, no. Even if you take issue with what is being said about you, like the gravity of the allegations are so serious that it does not warrant pulling out a little ukulele and playing a little tune with it. We shouldn't have let white people in my generation touch the ukulele. We should have left that shit at Tiny Tim. It was never gonna get better than that. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though, just as long as it's entertaining to you. Uh, it's already getting bitter. I can already tell this is not going to a place where there's there's going to be much um, acknowledgement of, of fault. The tone has already been taken that you guys are just doing this because you're bored. Sure is a lot of cancel culture driven by that on social media because people truly have nothing better to do on social media. Sure. But like when you consider the stuff that people are actually reacting to, that people are actually taking issue with, as far as uh, Colleen's stuff, uh, uh, I mean, uh. Right? You guys having fun? 
all aboard the toxic gossip train. Uh, it's so theatrical and twee and disgusting. It's so disgusting. Chugging down the tracks of misinformation, the toxic gossip train. Bit of a musical critique here. I, I think she's kind of cycling through this uh, little chorus, this little refrain series here a bit too much. It's kind of filler. I don't know if we need to drag a, dra drag things out this far. I love how even as she's like trying to frame herself as I'm an adult content creator who uh, is making very adult decisions here. Uh, she, she's putting out a song that sounds like a kid's song uh, with again, the ukulele and the, oh, chugga chugga, come aboard the toxic train, woo -hoo. Even when apologizing, she can't be age appropriate. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I wanna say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the solution to this problem. Colleen, you shouldn't say anything. Well, what if I sing it? This is also why theater kids shouldn't be allowed online. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries. That's too long to be uh, sharing your life on the internet. Uh, with random people, honestly. This is why uh, I have uh, gained the reputation as being kind of a private person because I don't tell you guys about my personal life. Uh, I, I don't because I don't think it's your business. Hey, listen, you're cool. I love that we have uh, a bit of a uh, you know online relationship where we vibe together over music, over music, and that's cool and that's healthy and that's neat. Outside of that, you know, you, you keep your private life to you. I'll keep mine to me. And that's where I think it, it works best. You are not my friend. I am not your friend. And there were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic gossip train. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I mean, yeah, of course, the fact that she's doing it in song and ukulele, it's it's cringe and it's bad and it's awful. But I'm just not really getting down with the framing because at least from what I've seen so far, uh, there's a good bulk of valid criticism in many of the reactions to uh, the content and the DMs and so on and so forth, I feel like Colleen is doing a bit of a sidestep here, only focusing on the people who are kind of taking that evidence and maybe like, you know, throwing out the most wild and insane suppositions as a result of that, or maybe even sending her threats of some sort. Obviously, that's not cool. Obviously, I don't endorse that. Nobody actually endorses that, but she's using that pretty much as a kind of a straw man or a distraction to say, hey, all of this, this portion of the reactions to my behavior are so bad and so heinous, all of it should just be like, you know, thrown out the window and dismissed. And I, I don't think, I don't think that is um, the way. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, wait, it's, stop. Again, presuming what the audience wants, and uh, yeah, while there are some people who, as a result of all this, uh, may want to see Colleen like, you know, uh, up on a cross or, you know, being burned at the stake, whatever, not everyone is so unreasonable. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Okay, no, 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 no. You guys are monetizing all of these rumors and all these things that I did that were bad and cringe when like literally what you're doing now is going to worsen that. Like if you just did a normal YouTuber apology, I, I, I think most people would have likely not had that strong a reaction 
to it. In fact, I didn't even know any of this was going on until you made this stupid ass video. This stupid ass video is actually drawing more attention to all of the stuff that you don't want people freaking out about and talking about because this video is so shit. Don't monetize my demise, guys. When literally you're, you're giving us the biggest incentive to do that ever because you have made the worst YouTuber apology video in the history of YouTuber apology videos. I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. Ugh. Look, uh, I can't personally say that about Colleen because I don't know enough about her to actually say what's in her heart or, you know, diagnose any kind of like behavioral pattern. But keep in mind, this is a, a single take 10 minute song, which she seemingly is performing without a hitch. I don't know. I think you need to be kind of a little, you know, self-obsessed and maybe bad at taking criticism or seeing flaws within yourself. Uh, in, in order to do this, there may have been some takes, numerous takes recorded to get uh, this one out as together as it is. And at no point where maybe Colleen messed up halfway through, she was like, oh, uh, maybe this is a bad idea. You know what? For the artist, one of the most essential talents you can hold within your arsenal is uh, the capacity to edit. And uh, apparently Colleen does not have that because if she did, uh, once more, she would have stopped herself at some point and realized this was an awful idea. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. She's not lying. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. Do you know what would like help dispel and like pull apart and, you know, deflate some of the lies and some of the rumors like for you to actually come on here and very clearly and succinctly admit to, acknowledge, and apologize for the things that you did do so people understand the difference between what was done and what's an exaggeration. That would actually have potentially a positive effect, uh, even if at the end of the day, it wouldn't please everybody because you know, you're know you never gonna please everybody in a contentious situations like these. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. Given the gravity of these allegations, I feel like you should be approaching this in a more serious way than, you know, you hopping on camera and looking like an asshole with a ukulele. So I just wanted to say that, um, <clears throat> the only thing I've ever- I thought she was gonna talk. I thought she was just gonna actually like, you know, speak from the heart or something like that, but then the strumming came back in. So I just wanted to say that, um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. Yeah, all these crazy allegations about me, you know what'll make them die down? A quip. I'll be quippy about it. Just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans. And I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so. Because five years ago, I made a fart joke. It's not just the fart joke. With Adam saying she would talk to him about her sex life as well as Trisha Paytas' nudes, all while she was 30 and he was 14, 15. There were also claims about how she would turn her fans into employees only to pay them very little and exploit their labor. She brought minors on stage, exploited them. In one case, she had a child reach into her pants to grab cheese balls. There was also another one that got a ton of attention where she had a teenage fan come on stage to do a bit about yoga. And there she stretched the fan's legs open in front of everyone. Colleen's brother trying also being accused of complimenting a fan's look, saying things like, you would look good pregnant if you ever want children one day, as well as a Allegedly saying anything we talk about stays between you and I. No, this video won't change anyone's mind about me. <sighs> Again. Uh, this video is not going to change anybody's mind. Uh, but so it might as well be the worst video anyone on YouTube's ever recorded. I still felt it was important to come on here. No, it wasn't. Defend myself a little. No, no. And take accountability. You're not. And I also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, I really, really appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Those Thank people are few and far between right now. Toxic yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're, we're back to the chorus. Chug 
We're, br we're bringing it back to the chorus! Toxic gossip <laughs> train. Ugh, she's, she's laying some stank on it. God, there's still two more minutes of this. You're done. You're finished. You know, this This is so theatrical. If, if this was truly a theater production, like halfway through this track, a minute through this track, a big giant hook would have come over. <laughs> Oh, are we stopping? No, no. Sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy, I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake. Oh no. And twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it. And, and pulverize it. You know what would make this point go down easier? Just maybe saying it sincerely. Delivering it in the way that you are, you know, sort of like acted out a little bit in song, ukulele. One more thing, guys. It makes it seem kind of like a manipulation. Even though you're saying everything you're saying about, oh, everyone's going to hate me anyway. Everyone's not going to like me. I, I think in your mind, you, you actually do believe on some level if I do it like this, and of course, like the point of being like, huh, everyone's going to hate anything I do, no matter what I do is, you know, to elicit the reaction of, oh, Colleen, we don't hate you. We know you just made a mistake. This is how, uh, unironically, uh, how somebody who was in the Miranda Sings, uh, entertainment demo, uh, would react to, you know, severely getting in you know some bad trouble with their parents i guess it tracks and that mistake doesn't make them a terrible human it just makes them a human you know the mix was a little off on this one uh song structure was there but i'm not really sure uh if it needed to be as you know grand and over the top as it was it's giving you no know, taylor all too well 10 minute version but the cringe youtuber ukulele non-apology video variation of that i don't think this track is going to be you know winning any grammys anytime soon i personally have never been a miranda sings or a colleen fan and even though uh, that combined with the fact that I went into this with very low expectations, uh, I still came out disappointed. I'm going to be straight up and say that uh, this Colleen apology is not good. Let's, uh, you know, leave the toxic cancel train. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, I suppose. Over here next to my head is another one you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, uh, f forever.